This is Akashwani Bengaluru. Hello and welcome to this edition of English Talks. This evening we talk about the importance of meditation. Talking to us is Sister Chaya. This is PK Chaya from Brahma Kumari Spanglor. Today I would like to share with you some good thoughts about the International Yoga Day which we celebrate on 21st June every year. This was initiated by Prime Minister Modi ji and the spark spread out throughout the world and now we find that every country is paying more importance to this yoga. What yoga really means is it is a connection between you and the positivity that is there outside you. So when we are performing yoga it could be the mental yoga or the physical yoga. In physical yoga you are concentrating on the physical exercise. As you concentrate with your mind your thoughts flow according to the posture and hence you find that physical exercise is giving you more strength and hence we find that there is a coincidence between yoga and the positivity that is there within us what is yoga is a beautiful system of healing yourself when you see mentally the yoga means a beautiful communion it is a connection between you and the nature you and your body you and your mind so when you see your mind you are connected to your thoughts you are connected to your feelings you are connected to the experience that you have and slowly when it goes outside in the form of action so it is the interaction it is the behavior pattern and the actions that you perform the whole day and hence we are connected to our self mentally through our words and action and we are connected to the world by these three things so yoga means a beautiful connection with your mind with your words and action that is where we find that when there is a sink in these three you find a beautiful experience a divine experience within yourself so as we all know that we learn different postures or exercises and each posture or each exercise gives us some kind of different healing power within our body and we find that and we have already done research in india there's so much that that we experience through physical exercise and each exercise has got a different importance or background the same way each feeling within us each thought within us each memory within us has got tremendous power inside in yoga we can say that there is a connection with mental yoga also which we say the raj yoga meditation mediri means to heal which is a latin world what do we really heal within when the day june 21st begins the everyone's mind there is yoga and uh, the synergy is there throughout the world and this is what we say a collective effort and a collective thought or a collective energy so that brings more uh, power or more result and that is the reason why brahma kumaris have taken this initiative of bringing meditation so that each and every person can take this meditation as a part and parcel of their life because it is not the need we can see it is the urgent need to heal ourselves to keep our mind more empowered and positive so for this meditation teaches us to connect to ourselves what we are am i this body or am i some other energy where we can say that this energy holds mind intellect and the sanskars so how do we heal ourselves with our mind and say that so i take good decisions at right time and the memory that is there within me gives me more power and uh, takes me into the right path so we know the knowledge of self and how do we harness the inner power when i say i am peace within how do i really harness the peace within me how do i harness the decision power within me how do i harness the power within me because we find that the technology is growing but uh, the powers within is to be more and more harnessed because uh, the time and the tremendous way at which the time is moving we need extra power to cope up with these things and that extra power comes through meditation because meditation is not just connecting to yourself so each thought that you create gives you such great feeling so when you are positive and you are more peaceful within yourself it gives you a great feeling of peace and this is how you can bring out peace and express peace outside 
and hence when we are all connected with this peace we can create the synergy or the atmosphere of peace around us and hence this takes us forward and far wide to the world at large and the nature also and that's the reason why yoga is given so much of importance uh, in india and outside the world so why because yoga creates that kind of inner energy and this energy can be passed to any person it can be passed to the nature and the world at large and the most important benefit of meditation is you can experience the deep silence within you you can create the space within you whenever you want rather than being involved in other things which is unnecessary when the space is created within you you can feel positive thoughts you can feel peaceful thoughts you can feel very blissful thoughts in that space but we need to pay more attention to creating that space within us This space can be created when we observe few minutes of silence. It could be one minute, it could be two minutes or three minutes. So let it not just be one day of yoga celebration, but let this ignition be carried forward. Let the mind be tuned to this experience or practice every day, each and every day, which can benefit each one of us and it can benefit the society and the world at large. Because the initiation has to be taken by the self and it has to be done by the self and the practice has to be done by the self and that's the reason why any revolution anything new that comes up so it starts with the self the motto of brahma kumari is self transformation brings world transformation so what is transformation is nothing but so you synchronize your own thoughts you align your own thoughts towards one thing which gives you more power within which gives you more peace within so if i have not aligned my thoughts if i have not synchronized my thoughts naturally each thought creates a kind of deep inner disturbance deep inner discomfort so i feel that i am not comfortable today i am not peaceful today so it is not that the outside world is the cause it is not that the outside person is a cause deep inside me there is that placelessness there is the kind of discomfort within me which creates you know discomforts outside which creates a kind of tension outside and hence we have to tune in to ourselves so yoga is nothing but a communication or it is a communication with the self it is a self talk so where i can heal my own thoughts i can align my own thoughts and i can bring my own thoughts in to the right way so if i have not done this my burden of thoughts will be an overburden on my intellect and that's the reason why many times we find that our decisions go wrong so our decisions are heavy and then naturally you feel that each small thing has created a great tension in me so yoga is nothing but a connection with the self the soul the light within and it is a beautiful connection with the supreme soul who is also the bright light ocean of all the qualities so once i connect to him i receive the power whenever i require because it is an internal connection between me and him so yoga is just uh, a, a beautiful connection and then this beauty brings beauty in my own world my own life and it is a kind of deep inner personality that i can develop within my self so this is my inner world and my inner space that i create so this takes few minutes of time not more so let physical yoga be connected to the mental yoga so mind heals itself and the body heals itself and each thought in a mind brings great energy or transmits great energy into the body and each organ each cell in my body gets rejuvenated so if we are more positive if we are more peaceful and blissful naturally your body is inclined to that so you don't have to work more on creating this and that and going into more of exercise exercise and a blend of mental exercise or the deep meditation that we all practice can bring a great amount of mental and physical health because we all know that we have to be physically healthy we have to be mentally healthy we have to be socially healthy and we have to be spiritually healthy also because spirituality is the basis for all the health so without
cooked spirituality without knowing who i am without knowing my own self what am i created of my own thoughts my own decisions i cannot interact with any person with that peace with that power or positivity lest we can expect things to be right we can expect things to be beautiful and smooth but it all starts from within so let us all take this initiative of creating this beautiful sync between mind and the body and let us go into the journey of meditation of peace for few minutes i request all of you to be seated comfortably wherever you are take a long breath as you breathe in and breathe out experience the power that is controlling the breath i am the light energy in the middle of the forehead i create thoughts of peace within me as i create thoughts i touch upon the treasure of peace within me as i explore peace the vibrations of peace spread around me they find these vibrations touching each and every one's mind and it creates a very strong impact thoughts of war thoughts of clashes slowly starts to sublime and it is peaceful atmosphere harmonious atmosphere around me i connect myself to the ocean of peace and take receive the rays of peace this is the light of protection light that protects me saves me that these few thoughts i request all of you to create this synergy and make this international yoga day very very special and unique so that we can make india the spiritual lighthouse thank you very much om shanti you were listening to sister chaya on the importance of meditation this came to you in our program of english talks till next time I am Roslyn Matthew signing off. Bye bye. This was a presentation of Akashwani Bengaluru.